Um, let's do this with George Ni Amakwe on the phones. George, good morning, big man. Me, good morning. How are you? I am doing very fine, and I'm sure today, today, so many of your fans will be very happy because they have also been thinking, Sammy, when are you calling George Quay for us to get to know what really is going down? And finally, George Quay is on the line. I don't know whether he is at 355 Fan of Fast Street or maybe he's somewhere else in Accra. He's, he's actually in Accra. Um, he is uh, in an office at East Legon waiting to enter a meeting. So he's not too far away from you. Oh, an office? Yes. Yeah. An so office? In East Legon waiting to have a meeting. Oh, okay. Why yeah. do we have another multimedia office in East Legon or something? No, 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 not at all. This is the office of um, um, a friend, somebody who's supporting us on a project that we are about to do on Valentine's Day. From here, we'll head to uh, the offices of Image Bureau. Image Bureau? Yes. Yes, I, I know. In fact, I cannot say I don't know. I know that is your organization, um, yes. a, fair, a firm that you own. Uh, so so yes. the, the Chatter House Joy FM thing, can, can we now clear the airspace for people to understand it better? What, what really is the issue? Oh, there's no issue. Um, you know, Chatter House is family. I mean, nobody ever works at Chatter House and leaves completely. Mm -hmm. And um, haven't done about 14 years. In fact, since February. Uh, 2020 would have been exactly 14 years since I joined the Multiple Concept Group as a copywriter. Wow. Uh, the one that actually introduced me to the group was Bulldog, Chatawali's manager, Bulldog. Uh, and he's the one that introduced me to Chatawali. We're working together at Village Communication. So um, I haven't done 14 years managing some of the um, biggest events and TV shows from the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards to Agro, Stars of the Future, The Good Life Game Show, The Challenge Educational Reality TV Show, and um, the Ghana Rocks Music Concert, and mm -hmm. other, you know, concerts, and um, other things done by the entire team at Chatterhouse. Mm -hmm. um, we feel it's about time we also tried to, you know, do something on our own. I mean, mm -hmm. 14 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, we believe we've served long enough. I mean, there's still a lot to learn. You know, in this event and production space, you never finish learning. That's true. There's still a lot to learn. And um, I would take this opportunity to say a big thank you to uh, Mr. Philip Ayesu, Yola Yuade, Mr. Teresa Yuade. I mean, these guys are giants on whose shoulders we've stood to take, you know, a lot of glory. A mm -hmm. lot of the things that we take the shine for, really, they are the ones that make it happen. Okay. Um, so if God has brought us this far, and today we are also joining the team to help solve Ghana's unemployment problems by becoming employers, we can only say thank you to those who held our hands and mm. um, hope and pray that we can still continue to serve them and work for them and with them in the you know nearest future. Okay, so yeah, okay. that's the uh, story with Chatterhouse. We have and we are managing Image Bureau now. Um, it is a communications um, and PR agency that mm -hmm. also handles branding and um, some eventing as well okay. and audiovisual productions. Um, uh, basically, that's what it is. With multimedia, I've always been a part of the multimedia family. I mm -hmm. mean, you remember last year, for instance, I did six months of, uh, uh, of showbiz A to Z when yeah. Nash yeah. was yeah. out of the country. Mm -hmm. So um, I've always been you know, a part of the multimedia family. It's just that this is the time that I've been able to get my own show. Okay. which is the Late Night Express, which runs from Monday to Wednesdays from 10 p.m. till midnight. So if Ghana's population increases <laughs> next year, uh, well, blame me. You are the cause of that. Yes, yes, blame me. Oh, blame I me. see. So it is not as if you have been fully employed by multimedia. It is just no, no, like no, you've been doing. Like it's not like that. I'm, uh, call me a supplier, but I'm a part of the multimedia family. I've always been. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. Image Bureau, have you started your productions yet? Well, uh, our first official <laughs> production comes on on Val's Day. Mm. Um, I'm sure you have seen the flyer. Yeah. Uh, I think it was dropped in your WhatsApp mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, earlier mm -hmm, today. You've seen mm -hmm. the flyer. We call it the Valentine Love and Laughter Show. Okay. And uh, for us, it is not about the day or the event. It is about making that statement that, look, our Ghanaian comedian, and this is the time we all come together to push them to the highest. So it is a show that Going to be headlined by Ghanaian comedians, mm -hmm. all of them from Ubi Amponsa, Foster Romanos, DKB, Jacinta, Clemento Suarez, uh, Lexi the Comic, and a lot of other ones will pass through. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. picture it this way Ghana's best of the best when it comes to comedy. 
all mm-hmm. together on one stage. And there will be some surprise acts from some of your most popular artists as well. Okay. Yeah. So there, there will be comedy and music as well? There will be comedy, but the focus is not on the music. The focus is on the comedy. The music, I'm just getting calls from, you know, friends in the industry who just want to pass through and grace the occasion. But what we are doing is a comedy show, not comedy and music. It is purely a comedy show. But, um, you know, we've served the industry for long. So there are people that believe they owe us some allegiance. So if we are putting up something like this, they only deem it appropriate to come and show support. So some very, very, very popular musicians have volunteered and promised that they will pass through to do a thing or two. Okay, and that is going to be on the uh, 14th February. On the 14th of February at the National Theatre. Great. If you dial the 447 star 336 hash right now, mm-hmm. you can get a ticket for either 80 CDs or 150 CDs for you and your partner. Mm. We, we know your works, so what we will do is we would have to be monitoring closely till 14th February so that we can all come to witness the event. Later, yes. we will come to the radio to do the reviews, yeah? We're grateful. We're grateful. I, see. And I know that Xylophone is supporting, so I'm any day. also grateful any for day. that as well. Any day. Yeah. Now, does yeah. it mean that anytime we see a George Quay around any Chatterhouse organized show, then it means the services of Image Bureau, uh, they have come for your services. Is that how we should see it? Um, like I said, nobody ever works at Chatterhouse and leaves forever. Chatterhouse is family. If you were at the grand finale of MT and Hitmaker, uh, this year, you'd realize that the executive uh, producer in charge that evening, the one leading the team, was Niaite Hammond. Mm-hmm. But we all know Niaite Hammond now is um, the big boss at Hope TV. Mm-hmm. But he was there to ensure that everything was in place, everything went well, just as planned. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the nature of what we do at Charter House. Everybody that passes through continues to be a part of the family forever. Depending on the kind of engagement that we have, it could either be me, George Quay, as my person, or it could be image bro, depending on the kind of engagement that we have. Um, for instance, um, I'll give you an example. Um, sometime last year, Chatel did a big event um, for um, the Africa Green Revolution Forum, mm-hmm. Agra. And, um, you know, Evolution International, for instance, was contracted to do a part of the work. Mm-hmm. Evolution is led by Fred Darko, who used to be a staff member of Chatterhouse some time back. So, um, yes, his company was engaged. So, if Image Brew needs to be engaged, Image Brew will be engaged. But it is not mandatory for Chatterhouse to engage Image Brew for any service. But if we need to be engaged, Chatterhouse is well aware of what our services and what our capabilities are. And I'm sure if they need it, they would come for it. Thank you so much, George Quay, for this clarification. I'm sure it has given us enough information for us to move on. Now, we called you in connection to a story we just read online that says beyond the return, Afro Nation festivals to stay in Ghana for five solid years. I know your experience in events is very rich. And we're asking, what does this mean to us? Because it says the organization that even the government signed the partnership with is from um, a foreign country it is not an organization here in ghana so are we going to benefit from it as event people in ghana as showbiz people in ghana even with this mou yes it is i i also heard it i think i could be a sorry i should uh, um instagram or i think twitter hand or something mm-hmm. it's a great um initiative however a couple of years back we had a similar thing about africa after a year we didn't hear about it again mm. Mm. Um, mm. I am not being a, neg- a negative minded person sorry mm-hmm. but I would hope and pray that this one is actually for real and will stay and I'll tell you why it has that this stays it is good because well Afro Nation has carved a niche for itself as an international um, music concert or festive brand it's, 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 it's you know it's akin to the Afro Chellas, um uh, the big ones, the Glastonbury mm-hmm. and all those ones, it's akin to those international sized festivals. Um, so for Ghana, it's good. It's also good because you see, when things like this are organized in your space, the ripple effect and the multiplier effect in revenue goes across for everybody. Mm-hmm. Carpenters will not be flown in from Nigeria or Papua New Guinea. Carpenters will be rented locally. Um, all these people that will rig the lights, the stage and everything. Maybe the crew that will sit behind the main consoles may not be from here, but every other thing will be sourced locally. When Afro Nation was held here, I know big ideas supplied screens for them. Mm -hmm. I know lighting was done, supplied and done by somebody from Ghana. 
and they used a lot of Ghanaian hands to do a lot of things, sound suppliers, even stage hands and all that, security that will be engaged. Forget about all the things that the event will bring. Look at the extension, hotels, transport, um, uh, hospitality, food, all of them. That effect is the kind of effect that we are looking for. When you have a large number of people coming into your country, do not look at the direct benefits to the direct industry or, um, or, or agency or ministry hunt that, it's, that, that is leading it. Look at the whole. That is how we look at things. So it is going to be very good for us. And then we position ourselves and we're going to benefit. Look at who is the fiesta, for instance. Everybody around that time. You wouldn't even get a, 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 a hand coop to hand coop UK premium. That is good revenue for the people of crew. So that is the kind of effect that with Afro Nation coming together. Look at what they did over the last four or so days that they did in December. You know, you can imagine the number of the amount of money Uber, Yango, all these taxi drivers made, even trotro drivers, um, people that you know any people vendors, people that took various stunts and all that. Hotels around the space. It got to a point in December looking for a hotel in Accra. Everywhere you go, they tell you the Afro Nation people have booked it. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. that is not just the money that is going into the president's pocket. It is money that is going into the pockets of those, the owners of those facilities. And then those facility owners can pay their staff. Their staff can pay their rent. They can pay their fees. They can go to the salon. They can buy clothes. That is the kind of effect we are speaking. So if indeed we've been able to both to secure the franchise to host it for the next um, um, five, five years, years or next four or whichever, it is a big plus for us. And we all need to find a way to leverage on this to get the name of Ghana extremely global i see now george one area that i also want us to look at is this i know a firm like charter house you um the firm has tried countless times to do partnership with um um the ministry of tourism or maybe the ghana tourism authority in terms of ghana the organization of ghana music awards and other events the firm used to do in the past uh, how come there wasn't any partnership like that with maybe the government of ghana or ghana tourism authority and charter house but just as an event horizon from another organi- another country came through and now there is a partnership why are we not dealing with ourselves easily than dealing with outsiders Unfortunately, I'm unable to speak for Chatterhouse. No, 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 you are, you are, not, you are not speaking for Chatterhouse. I can look at it from this perspective. Um, Afro Nation, as was brought in here, we all know there was a local partner and the person of Rudy Kwache and his rave media group. Um, so I take it as though, you know, that's the reason the government of Ghana decided to hold it for five years because they probably are aware that there's a local partner who's fronting it. I mean, let's be frank. Uh, with ourselves. After Afro Nation, have you heard the name of any Nigerian, American, or the only name I hear is Rudy Kwache, mm-hmm. who is a Ghanaian, who is one of us. So I think the government is probably also looking at it that way. Probably this complaint that you just leveled is what they heard and decided to find a way to support all initiatives that have local hands in there. So I think it's a step in the right direction and we should look at it that way. Mm. All right, George, thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, we're still waiting for 14 February to come experience the first, yes. uh, one well, of the first major events. From... The seat will be arranged by uh-huh. height, shortest in front. <laughs> so, like so you, so you, you, you for instance, you sit in front, I guess. Oh, me, I'll be on the stage. Uh, you, uh, you'll be on the stage. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Arnold will sit. Arnold will sit in the front. Me, I'll go back. People like Zamalet and EO and Sadika Delido stand outside. Okay, and um, you, yeah. you, you, you uh, give Arnold uh, space on the front, but me, I'll, I'll go to the back. I hear you, my brother. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> like he likes the front seat, so let him sit on any of the front seats. Me, I'll go back. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much, George K, for talking to us here on this note of Afro Nation.